giant war-borne arm of radar reaches forth to touch the moon. Streaking 238,000 miles out into cosmic space, a high-frequency radio beam bounces off the moon and back to Earth. The magic of radar, born in battle up to now, has shown its greatest use in war, a weapon unsurpassed in warning of enemy attack by air and sea. But today's experiment, in an isolated shack atop a hill in eastern United States, may well open vast new fields for peacetime study. It is early morning and the moon is on the rise. Army scientists have aimed the steel antenna and are ready to hurl a powerful radio beam directly toward the moon at the speed of light. 238,000 miles and back. The radar wave begins its journey, reaches the moon and is reflected back to Earth, making the round trip in two and a half seconds. Soon wave after wave was dispatched. They bounced back. The case was proved. The Earth's atmosphere had been pierced. The specially designed receiver is tuned. This is it, this tiny wriggling thread of light. The distance between the two peaks shows the total mileage traveled. And here is the actual image of the first radar beam ever reflected from the moon. The moon itself, planet of mystery to humans ever since Galileo peered through the first telescope now touched by an electronic finger, may someday be touched by human exploration. No longer beyond man's dreaming is the possibility of spaceships to commute between the two planets. For now, at last, a beam of man-made energy has reached the moon. Who can say it will not be followed by man himself? <laughs>